All right. So you know that's a cool bottle. Yeah, it is. Nathan, you are you magnificent. No, no. He's a patron saint. I was about to say. It's donation day. Patron saint. You're, of we have ruined even, my flow. I was saying. We haven't saint. even started the show yet. I was yet. running up to patron saint. You saints. can't make the first thing that happens when the screen turns on. <laughs> Patron saint Just somebody. yelling at people. It's too abrupt. Nathan, you are you patron saint of whiskey. That's not how you do it, though. You patron <sighs> saint of whiskey. We know, we need a different lead up, though. Because okay. we have right now the There's momentum for Magnificent There Bastards. is. The patron saint of whiskey, you can't charge into. Oh. Can we return to our old entering the screen and formality stuff? How many times are we doing that this episode? Uh, twice. <laughs> I kind of like that one better. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, we've got the Devil's Share Cutwater Spirits. So Cutwater Spirits, by the way, is a California company, San Diego. Uh, they originally started out of a brewery and then got uh, funding and started to hold a story out of it. They actually have something like a 50,000 square foot building that includes oh. a fine dining restaurant in order to create foods paired with all of their spirits. Hold on. And they've won awards in San Diego for their restaurant. Okay, so the restaurant is the main gig. No. No, it's the secondary gig. Their spirits page has like two dozen more. more. It's got They've got crazy amount of different spirits they make. So their distillery game is so strong. Yeah. They, they were able the to have a 50,000 square foot facility. God damn it. Holy crap. That's a, I've never, it's never happened to me before. Sorry. That's a, that's a new one. Level three song. <laughs> some guys, some Level guys say it happens all the time. Level three song. <laughs> See, this is why I don't joke. <laughs> that's, that's a good joke. That joke's fine. So, so hold on. Award winning restaurant. Yeah. As an afterthought because their spirit game is so strong. How have I not heard of? I don't know. But here's the thing, their website's beautiful, their communication of what they're making is really well done, and at one point I went to their employee page just to see who was making things, and I had to scroll down for about an hour and a half. They had that many employees? <laughs> it's just, it felt like it anyway. This it felt, like we started a Netflix episode, and when the Netflix episode ended, I was still scrolling through the employee page. So they're in San Diego, California. Yeah. Alright. Now, this is their, oh my god, smell that. No, it smells That really is nice. beautiful, it's four years old. We were once again shooting in the morning. That did did you brush your teeth? That's you I, I did, teeth. man. Look, I, Rex. I cherish personal hygiene. You wait till after this to brush your teeth. People look at me and they think, oh, that's a slob. <laughs> Here, this is, the, this is the, 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 line, the line in the sand. The line in the sand. I'm not dirty. I'm <laughs> just sloppy. No. <laughs> just messy. Ah, oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. I get it. You're dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm a musician. We can get away with it. On the nose, I got an instant jump of slight banana and vanilla. Yep, I gotta get away from the toothpaste. Do your thing. It smells nice. I've yeah. got the wood notes in there, and there's some little spicy notes in there. Uh, 46. Okay. This is batch number one. Are Dang, they, Nathan hold, Huey. Hold on, hold on. Are they just super new? Is no, that... no, they just, they made their own. They wa waited on it for four years. It's almost vanilla cream. Right. With some slight barrel burn at the very end, or some barrel spice at the very end. That is lovely. It's some spicy vanilla cream. Oh, wow. That's uh, remarkable. I can get, the nose, I'm, it's too early, to, I'm not doing. It's very pretty. Doing justice to the nose, but on the taste, it is pretty, but it's not thin, it's not wimpy. Not wimpy. Um, absolutely the vanilla. It's very candied, but it's but the, but through it is, that spice. It's very dense too, though. Running the spice through that vanilla. So, that, no, uh, they started out of a brewery, getting, a successful brewery. A brewery. Yes. Okay. Then they uh, got the funding and created this massive facility, and a huge selection of their spirits are new, clear, unaged spirits, which means they got those to market right away. 
That's right. where their money came from. I think I know what I'm specifically appreciating about this. Mm -hmm. The barrel note, the wood note, uh, the oakiness mm -hmm. seems to be in perfect harmony with the vanilla. And between the yeah. two, there's this little bit of spice kind of floating throughout. Yeah, because my first thought was this reminds me of TX Blended a little bit, mm. but TX Blended has no spice. This has more character. This has more spice and character. It's got that same rounded vanilla note, right. but running through it is the pepper and the cardamom. And, and the... I think TX Blended is just solid through and through. Yeah. Melted vanilla ice cream. Yeah. This has uh, more going on. This has some more That's complexity. That's cool, but, but I could see how this would be a really, really well-selling bourbon. Because it's the kind of drinkable bourbon that you don't have to try to love. You just go, oh, that's really nice. You don't, but for people who have been around hundreds of bourbons, yeah. there's enough there to hold their interest. Yeah, it won't be that boring. Now, if you are if you prefer the heavy barrel char high proof, this is not your whiskey. Nope. It's, uh, it's like a, a nice middle ground between... Um, very friendly, and this is intermediate, man. Very friendly and very challenging. Nope, this is friendly enough for people that if they're not into whiskey, but they're willing to go on a little adventure. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you're willing, if you're used to all kinds of whiskey adventures and challenges, if you're just willing to kind of chill out for a bit, it's a nice middle ground. All right, moving on. Mm. Dude, nice. So here's the thing about today. Nice. Here's yeah. the thing about today. Yeah, you you mentioned in passing, you, you got some good ones. Here's the thing about today. Yeah. Uh, today, every single thing we're going to try, I'm looking forward to. And probably, if I'm not mistaken, every single thing we're going to try uh, is something I would buy on its own just to have. Really? Okay. Now, you had me. Uh... Nathan Huey did. We got two more from Nathan. Um, this is Cooper's Choice. Now, Cooper's Choice as a brand... I've heard of Cooper's Choice. ...is the company behind Finlagen, mm -hmm. uh, Eliak, and Isla Storm. All these uh, sourced single malts where they don't tell you where it came from. Okay. Right? Like the Finlagen series yeah. is all Isla whiskey, but they don't tell you from what distillery. Okay. The Iliac is a uh, distil uh, single malt from... Okay, I think it's also Isla. Anyway, this... Uh, so, I think Cooper's Choice seems to be focused very heavily on Isla. Um... I don't know much about this other than this is one of their named releases. From Buna Haben. This is Buna Haben, and it's one of only 300 bottles, sherry cask finished, yeah. 14 years old. Interesting. How cool is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, and you're gonna, you're Nathan gonna, has good taste. Yeah, he does. You're going to tell me again how this is different than the regular Buna Haben. Uh, it may not be, but Buna Haben does not release a 14-year-old whiskey. Oh, uh, so just the age statement. So, yeah, they're picking a different age. Right? Now, oh, man. There's that sherry. This is heavy sherry. As a matter of fact, this might be one of the heaviest sherry Buna Habens I've ever smelled. No, that's not true. The old Buna Haben, which I have the 25-year-old in the box. Yeah. It smells this heavy sherry. But this is... Way heavier sherry than the 12. It's like a, so in addition to the peatiness, yeah. on top of the peatiness, there's a really, like, a, a ripe dominant pear. Yeah, that's the sherry barrel. Yeah, a uh, pear, and then it's got a, just a thin layer of uh, oak around that pear. And oh, I, man. I don't often get oak on scotches. <sighs> Brian Cook is in charge of these guys, and damn, if, you didn't, if this is his taste... I'm all in, man. This is salty. Mm -hmm. This is, um, it's got that weird combination of sweet and salt like you would get on a sea salt dark chocolate candy yeah. bar. Yeah, oh, yes. That level, not sugary white. No, no, slightly sugar. bittered sweet. Yes. Yeah, so dark chocolate with sea salt. It's got that slight combination of sweetened but salty. On the nose, I was expecting to go much more high range floral and fruity. Yeah, not on the taste. No, no, no. You it's, get all the brine. It's much denser. Man, that is fantastic. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just well done. That could be, whenever there's a whiskey, that's just great. Just, just oh, that uh, yeah, good. that's good. We should do that from now on. The slow clap. It's not even, it's not even aimed at a producer that may be watching the show. So, you know, screw you guys. It's right here. It's just for us. It's, yeah. 
Yeah, well done. <laughs> a new tradition, I like it. I hate to rush that one, but we got more that are gonna be even better or equally as awesome. Did you just throw that down? So figure out which one you wanna wash out. Both are good! I know, that's the problem! You know what, Rex, life is full of hard choices. I'm choosing to get a new glass. No, we're almost out of those, damn it. The next one is also a no name uh, on where it came from, but a sourced Highland single malt, 10 years old. Now hold on, you said also a no name? That had a name. Well, that, I mean, well, Cooper's Choice normally doesn't. Oh. The Iliac, the Isla Storm, all that kind of thing. Uh, but, so Deerstalker is another brand that buys barrels from distilleries and then does single releases. Okay. Um, it's, it's a range, they sell a bunch of other things. It dates way back. It used to be a uh, wine merchant. <gasps> no! How do we get this out? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to. Dude, that's so dry. Court broke. All right, we're going. Oh yeah, it just came apart. That is dry. All right, we're gonna have to pour around it, and then I'll get the cork out. I'll I'll decant this and remove the cork. All right, deer stalker with bits of cork bobbing in it. <laughs> it's totally bits of cork. Hey, remember that time you shot whiskey in my eye? This is <laughs> this is Nathan Huey <laughs> again. Oh wow! Now what they say is because you know sometimes they're not allowed to say what's in the whiskey, but they'll say on the website they'll give you so many clues that it's like okay, right. that's kind of obvious. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm not gonna tell you the guy's name, but his address is. And his social security is, <laughs> you know, right. Mr. Mafroig. Yeah, Mafroig. <laughs> <laughs> I want to name a whiskey Mafroig. <laughs> All right, uh, so this is velvety. Honey. What he says is velvety honey. We can't tell you where this is, but it comes from a the, distillery. Like vanilla. Yeah. Velvety honey. It come. Oh yeah. It comes from a distillery that's on the northeast coast that is used primarily for blending. <laughs> now there's one that that applies to. A lot, and that's Kleinlish. Okay. I don't know if this is Kleinlish, but we're about to try two more Kleinlish, Ooh. and we'll know in a second. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not used to having this. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Usually, when they don't want to name the distillery, it's sort of a maybe, but this one. It ends with a strong. Damn, it's good. With a strong floral note. Yeah, but the floral note's huge on the nose, and the taste it's only in the finish. Yep. That's weird. And in the finish, it just it stands out. Everything else fades away. Yeah, so, there is a little spike, but it's so subtle it vanishes. So on the, really quickly. on the nose, I was getting like a velvety honey and vanilla. Now, like the lead up to that, now that's getting dominated by the floral note. Yeah. It used wow, to be, the floral just keeps coming to the front. It keeps taking over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's 40%, so it got proofed down. It could be that there might be a little more character and spike if they had left it a little bit higher proof. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's good, but that doesn't compete with the Buna Haben. Right. Let's move back to our good friend and patron saint, Ben Stahl. Mm. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Underwater doing it. Ben Stone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you remember the Octave series from Duncan Taylor? We've done a couple of theirs. We did Octantotion, the Octave release. Yes, I think, and we I did, think I remember really liking that. Yeah, no, uh, we do because Duncan Taylor is great. Uh, but this is their Kleinlish release. Bottled in 2012, distilled in 1995, a total, if this tells you anything about what happens when Duncan Taylor does something, they left this at cask strength. Yeah. Right? Nice. Yeah. Okay, so they took a barrel that was, what is that, 17 years old? Yeah, 17 years old. So they took a Scottish barrel that was 17 years old, and all they did was bottle it. Guess how many bottles they ended up with? 14. 72. God. Yeah! Right? Yeah. Ouch! Yeah. See, that's what's that's yeah. what that's what we're facing with our quest. Yeah. Based on if we go for a really nice old whiskey. Oh, FYI, just uh, in case it comes up, I kind of told everybody in the whiskey tribe the only reason it's cast strength is because we can't afford the equipment to water it down to forty percent. 
<laughs> you mean a hose? <laughs> <laughs> no, we wanted to give options. That's it. Yeah. If you want to cast strength, if you want to play with it with the uh, with adding some water. Okay, so Ooh, interesting. This is Kleinlish, 17-year-old Kleinlish. Yeah. Single barrel, cask strength. It didn't say single barrel, but I'm assuming it's single barrel since they only ended up with the dust on it. Oh, it's 16 years, they the, say. The dusty, the, the, just the dustiness, the mustiness on this. Man, this is walking into an antique store with some fruity sweetness in the air. Yeah, it does lead me to believe that that deer stalker might be Kleinlish, though. Because it's got, yes, try, try sip. Man, 40 Imagine if this had not been proofed down to 40 and it was only one barrel. So and you get all the huge floral 40 notes. 40 compared to 55. Yeah. You get all the huge floral notes. Those floral notes are still in the taste of this, but they're surrounded by barrel spice. Oh my god. That's really good. Oh, you what, know what? What you could have been, dear star. You know what, Octave? You did it again. Yeah, did it again. It's too much. It's too much. No, that's two. That's you're, two in a row. You're throwing them. Two out of four. You're throwing them around. No, no, because this doesn't normally happen where I would shit, I would drink only this at home for a while if I had to. No, it's exceptionally good. This is a Highland. <sighs> well, Northeast Highland. Right, they took over, essentially, they took over the old Brora distillery. Not really, it's sort of, but it's complicated. Right. Okay, so the notes that we're getting on this that weren't in the deer stalker. Yeah. I was getting a much, uh, like a really dusty, super Man, dusty there's, note. There is citrus running through this like a crazy thread. Just mm. strong, uh, dark, chocolate, orange, dusty leather to it though. But not in the green, not in what you call the green note. No. That's why I use leather as different than the green sappy note. See, I was my head. It's a, like young, almost raw. Yeah. Sour no, I mean, leather. Old leather chair sofa or old leather armchair. Well, that's a good. That's partially mixed with you know pipe smoke, and you know a fire wood smoke. Somebody poured some vape juice on an old leather sofa. <laughs> oh, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> and they went to town. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pour in one glass the other thing that Ben Stahl gave us, which is the classic Kleinlich 14. So that we can compare what Kleinlich does when they release a 14-year-old standard release yeah. with what Duncan Taylor did with one barrel. Man. Man. Now, I, I've Man. always liked Kleinlich. Man! This is to share. This is not yours. Man! Quit moving it over to your side of the damn thing. I, 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 Psalm first, and then it's yours. Psalm first. No, 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 don't lick it! Oh, God, he licked it! Psalm first, no! Don't touch my hand with your damn tongue. Damn it. Ah, I couldn't do it. Ah, oh, it's the tongue. It's the tongue. It's a, lot of, a lot of spittle on I that. had an open cut. Oh, you didn't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, the real question is, how does it compare to the Duncan Taylor release? You can't believe you went after that glass. Like, I was just slobbering all over that. No, thing. just on one side, though. All right. Uh, dude, it's way saltier. The Kleinlish 14 has more of the peat salt. So what is the what's the proof on the 14? Because I'm getting much more. Did you know that a lot of the Kleinlish goes into Johnny Walker? So this is 46 percent. This is 55 percent. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely tell there's that nine ten percent difference there. But this is uh, fruitier. It is fruitier. This is more salty. It's saltier, but it's not without sweetness. No, it's not. Yeah. Man, Kleinlish. Every time we try Kleinlish, I'm always impressed. <laughs> there is. Almost a nutty fruitiness in this. A nutty fruitiness. And this 14, you said it was? Mm hmm. Yeah. Still, I love it. Still getting like the floral note. So uh, here's what I would say for the money, because I guarantee this Duncan Taylor is not cheap. Whenever the, yeah, yeah. For the money, I would stick with the 14 for right now. But if I was given this or I just decided to buy it and splurge, man, this would be my one pour set it aside bottle and it would last me for a while. The 14. Seems to be, even though this is older, you said? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the lower proof, but this seems like a more rounded, cohesive. Well, they've also blended a bunch of barrels together. Ah, okay. Right. Yeah, makes sense. Damn. All right, so. Damn! Set that aside. Keep taking more. We're going to do, finish something, because we, no, we don't have any more glasses. You took, because you took extra glasses, we have no more. This is. Figure out a plan. This is a hardship. Figure out a plan. This is a hardship. Yes, because you're going to want to try this next one. 
Now, before we go to the last one, because I sort of peeked and cheated on what the last one was, and I am really excited about it. And I think you are gonna be too. Finish that and we'll water the glass. Now this is for them, um, uh, and before we announce this, because it's gonna be a fun ending to the video. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Advent Calendar 2018. Yeah. So here's the thing. This is small for an Advent Calendar. Yeah, it, what started this whole cha uh, channel was me doing the Advent Calendar. Yes. Like two plus years ago. It was, like, it was in the end of 20, 15? December. I really don't remember anymore. I think it was the end of 2015. And maybe. And that was before Rex started joining the show and it became what you guys know and love. Those were the golden days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just brought it all. When I was just sitting on a table. Here's the thing. As you well know. No, 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 don't peek. I don't want you to cheat. You peek. You're gonna be really excited about this. Alright. So, as you well know. Master of Malt quit shipping to the United States. Yeah, and then they started shipping again and then it immediately got shut well, down. Well, because they got bought out by a new company and the new company basically just said, the U.S. liquor laws are so complicated, we're not interested. Oh, we know. We're not even going to try. We know how yeah. complicated they are. We know. We're aware. So, <laughs> we've been searching for, how do I do an advent calendar that our friends in the U.S. can actually get their hands on? Yeah. And we found a guy and his wife, uh, Jonathan and Cindy Bray who founded Secret Spirits. Joy? Right? Okay. And uh, what they, they actually, here's well, what, here's I'm the, already nervous because of, No, no, here's the ironic thing. The fact that you just named two people, that sounds like it's very small. Instead of a company? So, no, 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 it's, it's are a they husband and wife team. Are they, yes, my yes. point exactly. Are they able to fulfill orders? Yes, they can create 2,000 of these calendars. Okay. Right, which is enough for our tribe and that's all we care about. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the, here's the thing. They actually invented the whiskey advent calendar. They did it two years before Master of Malt. Oh. And then Master of Malt went, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Totally ripped it off. Don't mind if I do. And expanded it to their whole line. So, yeah. now the difference is Master of Malt just took bottles of whiskeys we already know. Yeah poured them into smaller bottles and made an advent calendar. Yeah. And so there's nothing in, well, there's a few, very few things in the Master of Malt advent calendar that you can't just buy a bottle of. Sure. Jonathan and Cindy yeah. sourced individual casks for every release of the advent calendar. So in their advent calendar yeah. are bottles you cannot buy ever again. So, because they only existed inside the advent calendar. They're of distilleries that you know, yes. but they're all single cask Oh. Bottlings only purchased for the calendar. Okay. Right? So this now, is... And they're old. Some of them are very old. Yeah. And they give you more than double the amount of whiskey per bottle per day that Master of Malt did. So, Master of Malt, you poured it in, you got like two sips. Right. Theirs is enough to share with Even, a friend. No, on these, he's getting actual uh, reasonable, larger than an airplane serving pours, okay. right? Of extremely exclusive whiskey. And it's a Scottish whiskey calendar, so it's only scotch. Sure. Right? Not a broad American whiskey. Oh. Oh, right. Just only scotch. That's your wheelhouse. It's a scotch whiskey calendar, which is what yeah. I prefer. That's what we're going to do. Now, it is a little more expensive than the Master of Malt calendars. Uh, and there's only 2,000 of them, so, uh, you know, it's up to you what you so do. So it sounds like you're saying it's more expensive, but you get but considerably you get more. More than double the amount of whiskey. And uniqueness is the name of the Truly game. Truly rare. Because this isn't stuff that's pulled off the shelf. Yeah. This is like unique casts that are acquired from yeah. these. Okay. Now, what you do is up to you. All I can tell you is that's the calendar I'm going to be doing sure. at Christmas. I'll bring it up again later. Yeah. Uh, for now, if you want to know more information about it, Jonathan and Cindy actually created a landing page for the Whiskey Tribe, so it'd be easy for them to find out what we're talking a about. A two-person team is capable of doing a web page. <laughs> we're barely capable. We're barely <laughs> capable of that. Yeah. Uh, so that URL is secretspirits.com forward slash Whiskey Tribe with an E in the whiskey. All right. Right, and we'll put it down. Here. That's just so people can figure out all the stuff that... Yeah, and, and don't, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Alright, so... We're gonna end with this one because it's already a 20 minute video. Are you ready? Is it... You ready to hear angels singing? Oh, it's... 27 Oh, minutes. it's 30 minute video. 27 minute video. Here's how we end. Oh, jeez. Good luck. <laughs> Chad. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. 
This is from old. It says old malt cask. Yes. Hunter Lang and Company Ltd. Yeah. This so that means it's an independent bottling of a single distillery. Okay. Right. Yes. Not from the distillery. From someone who purchased a cask. Right. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. What's in there? This is the old malt cask. Longmore! Yes! 14-year-old oh. Longmore. Look, Look at this is from Bob Davidson. Yeah. Who is a magnificent bastard of the best kind. Bob Davidson. You magnificent bastard. <laughs> yes! Now I'm I'm so excited you about this. Long, you don't really Longmore get is your is your uh your soulmate? Mm-hmm. Every time I remember, which is rare, but every time I remember that Longmorn is actually a Speyside whiskey, mm -hmm. I giggle a little. Here's why. Because Speyside, for a lot of people... Is the prettiest, friendliest. It's the prettiest, friendliest. It's somebody who is a champion of like, oh, the peat, the smokiness, and the not sweet. And I blah, am, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But but you're like is this is this your favorite? favorite? I don't know. There's something about Longmorn. It's like I did top three for sure. Top three, yeah, top three for sure. There's something about Longmorn that just is disproportionately owns my soul. Yeah, a little bit. And it smells, uh, it smells amazing. You know, if all of this falls apart, <laughs> no, not if when I may move to Scotland to see if I can be a rep for Longmorn. When this all falls apart, you know what? When you do that. I'm gonna send them like unsavory clips. Ah, at the B roll, so, so you don't get the job. <laughs> no, they're like, sir, we wouldn't really have lived to, but this one time you wore fireball pajamas on camera, and that's there for all time. We can't send you into these various locations and then yeah. going, oh, fireball guy. Uh, <laughs> no, I would gladly drop everything to be a rep for Longhorn. Really? Yeah, I would do it. And I, say, I would do it. I say this in the spirit of love. That sounds like such a bitch move. What do you mean? It's such a bitch move because think about this. You can either make your own mark in the world, yeah, or you can go to another distillery and say, "Hey, can I uh, can I please talk about your whiskey, please, sir?" Yeah. No. So here's the thing. That's what happens when you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you're just like, I just. I'm just tired. <laughs> I just I don't want to have to carve through the wilderness anymore. Do you know I what? want I want to walk a path someone else has carved. This is the difference between you and me. Yeah. I'm chiseled out of <laughs> granite. <laughs> this this uh this lump of play doh over here. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> Weak. You're describing me as a lump of play doh. Lump of fing dough. Oh man, this smells so good. People look at me and they go, God, that guy. Just like I could give him a hug and it feels like I'm hugging just an oak tree. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to keep a straight face with that? Stuff? Be, this is not a joke. It's not a joke at all. They'll tell us about your favorite whiskey. <laughs> an oak tree? Yeah. You picked an oak tree. It's so hard. Ah. Uh, just so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I would think more of a magnolia. And I'm made of 80% wood. <laughs> That's probably At true. all times. Yeah, that's probably. Rock hard wood. <laughs> <laughs> this is your But there's that typical kind of slight citrus note in yeah. the nose. This is your bag, man. This is classic Longmorn in the nose. A little bit of a woody spice note. Come on. Yeah, it's kind of great. Dude, there's almost um, strawberries and cream so, on this. You know how I think this is this is different than most space side. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I go agree. ahead. Go ahead. I was yeah. going to say how I think. Oh, yeah. How do you think? No, I agree. It is. But why do you think so? Space Side is going to have, it's, it's known as friendly because it mm. has sweet fruit, floral, a lot of times some candy sweetness. This, the sweetness is taking a back seat. Mm -hmm. It's still there, but it's not a candied sweetness. It's a much more organic sweetness. And mm -hmm. then there's a lot of other things going on in here. So I compare it to. And I've said this before, but you, you ever grow up in an area where honeysuckle grows? And you ever try to pull the middle stem out of a honeysuckle flower? Mm -hmm. And you get just that tiny little drop of nectar. And then the rest tastes like... And the rest tastes like grass. Like plants, yeah. Yeah. So if you compare it to that experience versus honeysuckle flavored things. Yeah. Right? So honeysuckle flavoring is going to be honeysuckle sweet. Yeah. But if you've ever had actual honeysuckle nectar, yeah. it's a small percentage sweet. 
surrounded by the green grassy notes of a plant. Yeah. This is that kind of comparison. Whereas in my experience, most space sides tend to be dominant the sweet characteristics. Yep. This one has the note of sweet, but it's organic. It's like it came from the actual flower. Yeah. Right? Or when you smell a real flower, if you smell uh, a fragrance that smells like roses, or like a shampoo, or a candle, it's roses, it's all rose sweet. But if you smell an actual rose, yeah. it smells partially sweet and partially grass, vegetation, plant, yeah, loam. I'd agree. Right? This is closer to organic, natural sweetness combined with earth and vegetation. I would agree, and I'm very glad this is in Speyside country because Whenever I'm talking to somebody and they're talking about the regions of Scotland, and if they want to write off Speyside, I can point to something and mm -hmm. say, oh, no, 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 there's... And there's a couple more like this, but this one really, it's perfect. It's perfect. Awesome. All right. That's Here's a long Friday, to man. fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.